I love all sea animals, and I think they're all cute in their own unique way, but today we're going to take a look at the top 7 ugliest sea animals known to exist. And stay tuned for the last one, because I'm going to touch it with my bare hands. Let's get started. Coming in at number 7 is the stargazer fish. Most often found in the shallow depths of the Mediterranean Sea, the stargazer fish is one that will make you want to gaze in the opposite direction. This fish has a worm-like appendage on its face and it uses it to attract its prey. Not sure why anything would be attracted to a worm like this, but at first a little fish might see a tasty grub. Next thing it knows, it's getting swallowed by a googly-eyed bag of teeth. With a face only a mother could love? Well, maybe. This creepy, sad face floppy boy has spines on top of its body that are capable of producing electricity and delivering a powerful shock to those unlucky enough to step on them. Imagine, you're walking in some nice, warm, crystal blue water, when all of a sudden, you get tasered by the ugliest creature that you've ever laid eyes on. Let's hope that these don't ever evolve to come onto land. Number six on our list is looking like Mother Nature just inflated a human head and glued on some fins. This is the ocean sunfish, one of the largest species of bony fish in the world and is actually considered to be a species of plankton. Now if you guys didn't know, plankton is any living animal that relies mostly on ocean currents for traveling. Although it looks relatively appealing from one angle, Shift your perspective just a little bit, and you'll see what appears to be an entirely different fish. Not to mention, they can grow to be 14 feet long and over 5,000 pounds. Now that's a lot of ugly for just one animal. Have you ever seen a seal? Well, have you ever seen a 20-foot seal with a stubby trunk? At 8,000 800 pounds, this just may be the biggest ugly animal on the list. Picture yourself walking on the beach when all of a sudden, this crawls out of the water and stares you down. Not only are these male elephant seals odd looking, but they oftentimes fight to death over their selected female mates. That's over 17,000 pounds of blubbery battle, all for the mating rights to an entire beach of lovely lady seals. Personally, I feel a bit sorry for the ladies, and if I had a seal baby, I think I'd hope for a daughter. In at number 4, and looking like the mutated hybrid of a Dilophosaurus and Predator, the sarcastic fingerhead is a freakishly weird fishy. The main purpose of their widespread mouth is to ward off other male fingerheads from their territory. And in my opinion, I don't see why the females aren't warded off also. Little is known about these amazingly bizarre fish, but one thing is for sure. When people look in the mirror and feel insecure about themselves, it's probably because they haven't seen one of these crazy looking animals. When first looking at this fish, you might wonder, how did this end up on the list of the world's ugliest sea animals? Especially coming in at number three. Well, sometimes it's what's on the inside that really counts. Although the sheep's head fish has beautiful stripes and body shape, the teeth on this fish will literally give you nightmares. Imagine going out on a nice fishing trip with your family and thinking that you just pulled up the trophy catch of the day, only to find out when you're removing the hook that this fish has teeth that look just like your Aunt Wilma's. You quickly throw the fish back into the water, but the fish just won't stop showing up to haunt your dreams. Why was this fish even put on earth, you ask? Well. Let's just say Mother Nature has a very strange sense of humor. Throw me in a tank with sharks, because honestly, I can't think of anything worse than being bitten by one of these. Number two, the blobfish. This one is pretty popular, but to be completely honest, when I first saw this fish, 
I really thought it was a joke. Like, I didn't think it was real at all. As soon as I found out it was legit, I decided to never go into the ocean again. I sold my surfboard and moved to the desert. It's nice here, you know? It literally looks like Donald Trump ate too much on Thanksgiving and then passed out. The blobfish, this fish, deserves the name. It suits it better than Sauce Suits Pasta. You might have expected this one to come in at number one, but hold on one sec. The real winner, coming in at number one, I hate to even bring this animal up. Also, I apologize in advance to anyone that this offends or anyone that goes blind by the sight of these terrifying scenes of horror. The giant isopod. As most of you know by watching my previous videos, you can check the link right here at the top, even a small isopod is gag inducing. Why on earth do we need giant ones to exist? Especially ones that grow up to two and a half feet long. These seafloor dwellers just walk around on their little stick legs and feel around with their slithery antennas. Oh, and did I mention that they're carnivores? That's right, they eat meat. They can go a long time without eating, but when they do manage to find something that fits their menu, they gorge themselves. Imagine being devoured by one of these handsome fellas. A lot of these isopods are actually parasitic and host off of other animals. Take a look at these isopod parasites being removed from estuary shrimp. This is the Eupogebia shrimp. Underneath of its gill flap is the invasive Ortheon griffinus isopod parasite. These small isopods are closely related to the giant isopods. Even though they're smaller in size, they are equally ugly and even deadly to an entire ecosystem. In fact, the parasites that you see here are invasive to this area and causing the extinction of an entire shrimp species. Thought to have come from Eastern Asia, these Ortheon griffinous parasites latch onto the gill flaps of these Eupogebia mud shrimp. Once the parasite is attached, there is nothing the helpless shrimp can do to get it removed. The parasite slowly begins draining the shrimp of its blood and nutrients, causing the shrimp to become weaker and weaker over time. Even after the shrimp molts its shell and grows a new one, the parasite remains attached. And if it looks like there are two parasites, then you're right. The small white or brown colored male attaches itself to the female parasite and hosts off of her. It's so terrible, the parasite has a parasite. Here they use each other to reproduce. Although the parasites are able to reproduce while attached to the shrimp, the shrimp itself isn't so lucky. While the parasite is attached to the shrimp, it is nearly impossible for the shrimp to reproduce and lay eggs. Over 90% of the female shrimp are affected, and that's why there has been a major decline in their population over the last 30 years. There's no known solution to this invasive species problem, but what we can focus on are ways to prevent bringing invasive species into a new ecosystem. So not only are these parasites ranked number one because they're ugly on the outside, but they're also ranked number one because of how deadly they are on the environment if they're introduced into the wrong area. I took out my macro lens for the next shots you're about to see. That way you can get an up close look at these little disgusting creatures. Let me know your thoughts on them. Would you hold them with your bare hands? What animals did you expect to see on this list that weren't here? Also, we're putting together a community of people who care about the ocean and want to make a difference. So if that's you, then consider subscribing to the channel.